Today we're going to show you how Navnet TZ Touch has the unique capability to update itself when you have the latest software version 2.01 installed. With 2.01 installed, which was introduced at the beginning of this year, Navnet now has the unique capability to go online and check for automatic software updates, and we can show you how to do that right now by pressing the proper sequence of buttons. To check whether we have a good wireless connection with our Navnet TZ Touch MFD, we'd start by pressing the home button followed by the menu key. And then in the general menu, look for wireless LAN settings. Select that, and you can see we have wireless turned off. First I would turn on wireless. It takes a second for it to recognize. Once it's turned on, you can see we do have an available wireless hotspot named FUSA Sprint, and that is just our local wireless hotspot we have right here. And I'm going to connect to that right now. Once we have a good connection, we can go back and resume our software update. If you don't have a portable hotspot and you can't tether your smartphone to your TZ Touch MFD, you can check to see whether any other wireless hotspots are around or within range, such as at your marina or such as at a local store. Now that we have a green circle with a check mark next to our wireless hotspot, we know we have a good connection. Now I can close this selection and go back to our Check for Software Update tab. If I click on that now, we should be able to go in and update the software. So it says new version detected, Navnet TZT version 3, uh, candidate release 2, which is just an internal code for our for Furuno. And you can see that the size of the file is 176 megabytes. And with a 176 megabyte file with a good wireless connection, that should be about a 10 minute, 10 to maybe 15 minute download. And as soon as we're ready, we can actually press the yes button and commence the download. And you can see a progress bar will appear and it says download in progress. You can see that the download bar is almost completed after about 10 minutes of time and we're about to finish. Now that the software update is completed, you can see that there's a new window on the screen saying the new software update has been downloaded. <clears throat> Do you want to install it? And it says the device will be rebooted during the installation process. At this point, we can say yes to accept the new software. So now the machine will go in, reboot, and load in the new software and come up with the new software version. There's no more interaction required by you at this time. Just wait for the machine to finish. A couple cautionary measures to talk about before we start this update procedure. One is always back up your roots and waypoint and your user data before you begin any software update procedure with TZ Touch or any other Furuno product. Another cautionary measure you should always abide by is don't try a software update before you're ready to go on a big trip or right before you're ready to use the system for navigation. Always do it with plenty of time just in case there are issues or in case the software update procedure has, uh, doesn't work the first time. That way you won't be waiting on the software to get going. Depending on the software update, the Navnet TZ Touch MFD may appear to be re rebooting several times. However, you'll just have to wait until the unit finally shuts down completely. And once it's shut down completely, we can go and turn on and restart the system. Upon doing this, the new software will be uploaded and everything will work properly. As the unit turns on, you can see that everything's running properly and you can see how we took advantage of the unique capability to upload a complete software update online from the internet with Navnet TZ Touch. You can check your software version on the left side of the progress bar, which is now 3.01, which is the latest version. If you don't have an internet connection with your TZ Touch MFD, this is the message you'll see on your display when you attempt to do a software update. It says the software update server is unreachable. In this case, we have to go back click OK and go back up in the general menu to our wireless LAN settings or our wired settings if you have a wired connection and double check to make sure that we have a connection to an existing Wi-Fi hotspot. 
To check the wireless LAN settings on your TZT MFD, go into the general menu and check your wireless LAN settings. In this case, make sure the wireless mode is turned on and then connect with a Wi-Fi hotspot. Thanks for joining us at Furuno and good luck with your new software updated TZ Touch MFD.